In addition to that, you realize the 170 questions posed to uh, uh, Ms. Atta and the NDC. These right. questions are still relevant today. And they are going to what surface because the issues are still relevant and they are going to what be part and parcel of the conversation. If you put all together, you ask yourself, um, what are the will this ones uh, this apology uh, do them good if Ghanaians accept and then change uh, Ghanaians' attitude towards what uh, voting? That is uh, for me. I am not sure that is the case. But Ghanaians will decide because one of the important things Ghanaians consider in voting for uh, you know a party in the election in Ghana is the economy. So when the economy is not healthy, it is going to affect other areas of what human lives, and that will also be a deciding factor. So the economy. Right. Uh, if the economy is in shambles, you are going to have a problem in campaigning. You recall 2000, President Kufo's message was very simple. And that sold because economy, once it is not healthy, is going to affect what other areas. Remember, issue of infrastructure development is critical in this country. And Ghanaian voters, they look at that. If the economy is not sound, you will not have resources to undertake that. Issue of the fight against corruption is also, it dovetails into this con uh, conversation and you are going to have a problem. That aside, you are also talk about what, uh, you know, unemployment, mm. unemployment. If the economy is, it is when the economy is healthy that you can create jobs and what help people to make what meaningful lives. So all these things are there and they are going to what affect them big time. But how they are going to navigate their way is a problem. Uh, the, 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 the bit about the, the posturing is also uh, a difficulty. Mm -hmm. I am sure that they will not come out and apologize. I can tell you, they will not do that. Because if they why, apologize... Why, why are you so confident that will not be done? Yeah, because these other questions which I have said uh, will be posed to them. Which area are you admitting that you have mismanaged the economy? Then you go back to earlier scholars and, you know, watchers of the economic space telling you that, look, the direction you are going, you are going to create a problem. Hold on, do a few things right and all that. And they ignore that. Those questions, people are going to come up at them. So apology, no. I, I am not sure you are going to get apology. They will continue to tell you that they are turning the corner, they are doing ABC and all that. But you see, the stark reality is that we are in difficult times. Mm. Uh, economy is very hard. And that means of livelihood has become a problem for people. And uh, that is an important barometer for voters when they are voting. So. Um, I, 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 I sympathize with them with the pain that they, uh, they find themselves, the condition they find themselves in. But the question oh. is, now who calls them? Mm -hmm.